Hey, Scorpio. It's Deb with Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I hope that you are doing well. And I hope that this reading finds you safe. Shout out to the Soul Tribe members that show love and support to the channel. It definitely is appreciated. Okay. Let's see what your moon cycle is for this Thirsty Thursday, Scorpio. Ooh. So you have number six, waxing crust, self-love. So you want to focus on self-love this week, okay? Do all the things that you've been wanting to do, but you've not taken the time to do for yourself. All those things, try to get those things done this week if possible, okay? Maybe you need to take some time from something else so that you're able to get those things done. I'm feeling this energy of someone feels like they can't because they're too busy, yeah, probably need to just look more into it because there's probably some things that you're doing that is probably for other people that you don't have to do this week, okay? But let's see, what's going on with the comedic? Aten. So we got the sun card. I feel like if you are able to... Get yourself in this energy of self-love and kind of allowing yourself to pamper yourself this week. You're going to realize that it brings you a lot of fulfillment. You're going to feel refreshed, renewed. The sun card is like happiness. It's like the glow. You probably are going to be glowing. You're going to feel like whatever you did was actually worth it. Okay. So let's see what we got here. The Prince of Cups, hmm, I feel like you're really just kind of in the surrender energy or someone else is towards you, Cancer, and if they are, they're into in your emotions, like they're, they're in water energy regardless of what their sign is. This person is very emotional, maybe someone is seeing that you're, why did I say Cancer, Scorpio, interesting, maybe it's a Cancer, but, um, it's almost like your self-love and what it is that you do for yourself is going to show on the outside and then you're going to appreciate yourself more and it's going to reflect in others why am i why am i like all over the place right now with you guys as reading this is weird okay scorpio what's going on Yeah, I was feeling, I was going to say Leo. It might have been a Leo Scorpio with the strength card leading up. But there's someone that wants to apologize to you. This person is in regret. They're seeing that maybe they should have helped you because I feel like you're overwhelmed with a lot of work. So this person might have been a uh, contribute to why you had a lot of stuff that you had to do on your own. Even if it's not presently, it could have been in the past. And now this person is regretting how they treated the connection high priestess you might be in high priestess energy at this moment your intuition is on point you're being guided by the divine you're really seeing a lot of synchronicities but this rest the self-love is really necessary for you right now this week especially like i said you might have to leave some things to handle themselves especially if it's something that doesn't necessarily need you but because someone wants you there you might want to just leave it alone because if not you might run into a tower or you might have like it's gonna it might be a problem or issue that arises because of making a decision to a hasty decision to do something that you don't need to do see it might be an argument that breaks out a conflict something like that it's gonna make you feel like you need to escape something so to avoid that tap into your self-love yeah see seven of scepters put up some healthy boundaries just say the no when it's time to say no especially if it's something you can't really do because you're already doing a lot 
Okay, Scorpio. What's the strength card? Now I'm feeling like this Prince of Cups was like somebody trying to pull on your emotions to get you to do those things. King of Scarabs. That's Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy. A set in reverse. Shay and Renan Newt. Wheel of Fortune. Sekmet. So now we got the strength card came out twice. And then Nebahet. So we got the High Priestess that came out twice. I feel like somebody's trying to go to war against you. Scorpio because of the strength that you have right now and the resilience that you have it could be this Cap Capricorn Taurus Virgo somebody who has like they have finance finances so they possibly feel like they're very influential or the person might be very influential this person is a manipulator though because the magician is in reverse so this person likes to manipulate a lot of things but they see that you have a prosperous wheel of fortune that's going on right now and and this person, I feel, wants to start some type of battle because it's like they feel like they want to see how strong you are compared to themselves. They're comparing you to themselves because I got two strength cards here. But it's like this person knows that you're the high priestess because it came out twice. So they're trying to challenge your intuition is what I'm feeling. <sighs> what's this five of cups because i feel like it's just like some past regret energy also around so it's like you got a lot going on plus we in like Mer mercury retrograde so that means that past people are gonna try to come back yeah nine of swords um whoever this person is that's in the five of cups energy or it could be multiple people right from the past they're not getting any sleep these people are being tormented because they know that there's not a chance to come back to you you're not going to accept their offer you don't want anything from the past you're moving forward the king of swords you probably will tell them how you feel because the king of swords is like someone who stands up for themselves they speak their truth gemini libra aquarius energy what's this high priestess mm somebody tried to bind you because you are the high priestess they tried to cultivate your energy or they tried to use your energy for themselves two of swords this person is going to have something happen to them that they're not going to see coming it could have been a capricorn with the set energy but the five of onks is in reverse this person don't want to feel like this they don't want to be in regret and remorse the same card but you're still deciding to be single and abundant on your own. You really don't have time to deal with people who want to destroy you or people that want to sap your energy. And it's being advised for you to rest anyways. Okay. What's this four of swords? <laughs> the four of unks came out at the bottom. Exactly. Four of swords, four of unks, four four. So you are highly protected as you go through this energy of not feeling bothered or not wanting to be bothered, wanting to be at peace, at rest. I don't want to be disturbed. I don't want your offer. Just leave me alone. That's the energy that I'm getting from Scorpio. What's the five of this? this people feel ostracized. People feel like they can't come because you're leaving. King of Scarabs, whoever this Capricorn Taurus Virgo is, this person, even though they have a lot of um, material type things, this person lacks in emotion. And that's why this person feels like they're being left out because they don't have the emotion. They can just manifest finances with no emotions. This person is finally coming to that realization. That's why. They don't even have much to offer you right here with the Prince of Cups. They don't, it's like their emotions are immature. This person comes to you, they don't know how to be sympathetic or show any type of feelings. Um, what's the, yeah, let's see, let's go with the tower. Hmm. Virgo energy, hermit, nun, 
you don't have nothing to say it's over with it's over with this person wants to end this they don't want you to be in self-love because if it, it makes them realize that they're done it's done you're moving away regardless you're moving to something that's more easier for you to handle what's the six of swords exactly six of scepters you got recognition reward that's coming after you finish this self-love like time it's kind of like um just taking it easy and stepping away from things that you don't need to be doing right now it's unnecessary people just want you to do it just because they don't have the energy to do it but your energy is meant for something else so let's get a shamanic medicine Buried in her earth, transference. Look at you hiding in the ground. You don't want to be bothered. You're like, look, you guys just think that I'm dead. You got that little straw sticking out the ground. You pretend to dead. That's probably what you're gonna have to do this week. Pretend like you're dead. Stop burying your head in the ground. Ignoring problems prevents you from facing reality. Someone from your past offers a helping hand. Journey within to get to the source of a situation. Bury the hatchet. Hidden gifts are on earth. See, I, what I feel like is <laughs> you're ignoring a, a problem that doesn't even have anything to do with you. So I understand why you're in this energy. And I feel like once you come back from taking this self-love, you know, week of just being in love with yourself and come out of this ground, you're going to come out in a whole nother level. And you're going to have a lot of celebration that's coming ahead of you. That's what people ain't seeing. Because remember I told y'all the two of swords was here. They're not going to see this celebration that's coming towards you. Okay. So that is what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell. I definitely appreciate the energy exchange. Until next time, I'll talk to you later. Deuces.